on the curb. Something shiny. Is it gold? It's gold. Oh my gosh. Here. Oh, that's that's brass. But that goes up front. That's cool. I didn't even say hello. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. What even is this? It's an edger. It might work too, so. Yeah. All right, I need to grease that up. I thought it was a garbage can. It's a size of one. I think we should keep it for a garbage they can. Got a, they got a new one. Oh. Hey, you need for the tailgate? Yeah. You're my tailgate. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, can I keep that as a garbage can? You want that as your bedroom garbage can? Yep. Sure, put it inside though. Here. Now I need a tailgate. Oh, now it doesn't shut anymore. Well, you can, you can finagle it. So this X yard sale says free. I don't know if it's free just right here on the curb or if it's all free. Want to take a quick look? Yes, I do. All right. Well, thanks for coming with me, Jesse. If you don't know, that's my son, Jesse. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what's this? Scrap. What's that? All metal. I know, but I don't know if that's free though. <laughs> wow, those nails. The aluminum? Nope. Some scrap yards don't take this because it tangles into their oh. into their equipment. I like that. I got a nail in my tire. Yeah, I don't know if this is, see the free sign here? I don't know. Is it a rip? <laughs> Are we going to rip All right, you day? know what? I'm gonna go up and ask real quick. Okay. Secret codes for consoles and handhelds. If only this was still useful today. It's not? Nope, not really. There's two of them. Yep. So I rang the doorbell, but there was no answer. Cleaning and cooking fish. I like fish. Look, is this copper? Oh. Yeah, probably. So do we take? No, I'm no, I'm not taking anything because it. I don't know if that. Oh, you know, here's a second free sign. <laughs> I don't know. No, you know what? I'm gonna let people pick through this because they might have uses that are different than mine. So oh. what about dinosaurs making it to the moon? Free stuff. Anything of interest? Yes. Table. Yeah. Oh, it's a desk. So yeah, I think 65 million years ago when that Chicxulub asteroid bashed into the earth, listening to Hank Green, that yeah, I think some dinosaurs made it into space before humans did. Marbles. What like you gonna this. do with marbles? <laughs> Throw them everywhere? Dad, I'm a 16 year old teenage boy. What do you think we're gonna be doing with marbles? Throwing them? You know what? You know what? I'm Putting player. them in, no, no. Putting them in the lawn for, anyway, Um, do you want any cups? No, I do not. Oh, they have price tags on them. They did, it says free now. Um. I'm taking the marbles. All right. Oh, pictures. Yeah, Jesse, I think a few dinosaurs got yeeted into space. This guy always has scrap out. Thank you.
Sweet. Direct V. Do your magic. Do my magic by not being able to open the door. This truck wants to lock us out. Yep. All right. It's kind of loud. There. All right. If I can get you to bring that over. It's not a plastic, isn't it? This is plastic. That's wow. plastic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely plastic. All right. No. All right. If you would, um, go ahead and pull that chair out, and we're going to put this in here all the way against the cab. No, 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 no. Oh. My yeah, bad. yeah, let's not be a nuisance here. Um, I know, but I'm, I don't want it to look like we're a nuisance. So, um, hop out. We'll get this up here and get it secured. Because that's, that's one of the differences I want to make um, is for us not to be radical scrappers. You know, that'll just like make the biggest messes, the most noise. Even though it's not avoidable we can't avoid it completely but we can minimize it to somewhat all right just gonna hop up there we'll get this all the way against the cab here yeah let's go ahead and pick this up because we're actually going to test that out to see if it works so go ahead and pick that up and actually move it out of the way um, but no, pick it up with your hands because I don't want you wrecking it because we might want to test it. Yep. And then let's go this way. I don't mean to sound harsh, I just want to, for us not to wreck that. And go ahead and get that uh, back in here and we'll tie this up. Yeah, I need to get some lithium grease on that. Lithium? Yep, it's just, it'll just last longer and... Alright, you want to go on the other side? Yes. And not get hit by the rope? Almost got me. Do you remember a uh, trucker's no. hitch? I don't remember anything. Okay, then don't do anything yet. Well, I guess it doesn't... Yeah, that'll work. I don't remember the thing. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is do a twist here. And I, I just wanted just a small loop, so I'll probably do a little farther. Just a small loop. And now I can just pull this tight. a little more and that is a truss trucker's hitch nowhere <laughs> it's a little better seeing how I'm here Metal in a bag. Nice, but wait, yeah, it's metal. All right, let's get it. Yeah, like as far up towards the cab as you can. Ooh, that might be a little bit. Wow, that's aluminum, Jesse.
Yeah, go get your gloves on, please. Okay. How much money? Well, 40 cents a pound, probably. No, like how much? There might be some more in there. How much what? How much aluminum? 10 pounds? Do ya? Yep, yep, yep. Let's get it. Some summertime fun happening over that pool. Yep. All right. How many times have we seen this table? I swear, it just keeps coming back to us. Uh -uh. All right, we're just going to take the chairs. We're not taking the table. I wouldn't take the table ever. Some ubiquitous wire shelving. You got it? Yep. Wanna grab that side? Now we're gonna lay it actually on its back so it doesn't catch any air. Probably still could. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Let's um. Let's grab grab some uh, red and white rope, and we're gonna tie this stuff down. <laughs> Is that why we call it the standing end? Nice. All right, we're good. Well, we got a mailbox, some marbles, and whatever is in the truck. Yep. And yeah, thanks for hanging out. Peace. 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 <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm gonna see that's an aluminum top on the barbecue. That's probably stainless steel. I don't know. I'm gonna grab my magneto. Not stainless. Not even that part. So. Is that too far? We're good. Okay. Is that all you need from me, or do we? Um, I think I can handle it from here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna walk a few things over. I want to have a clean truck for the morning. Oh yeah, I forgot about the aluminum. Yeah. So yeah, I do want to have a fresh truck for the morning. That's if I go out. I'm not really sure if I am or not. So in case we're not, Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for having Jesse with. Uh, thank you for just being you, God. I'm just ever grateful. As your word says, those that have been forgiven much, that we love much, Lord. <sighs> yeah, thanks for all that, God. In the name of your son, Amen. Good morning. Wow. Two bunny rabbits. What's up, bunny rabbits? 
Yeah, it's super nice out. A little bit of a breeze, like 20 Celsius out here. Super nice. Never did transfer all this stuff into my blue truck last night. All right, I better. All right. I probably should do the calculation. The cubic footage in this space, like from here to the deck, you know, all the way compared to this truck, I have a feeling that's double because there's height, there's width, there's depth, um, and it's all more. So what looked like kind of nothing <laughs> really in here turned out to be a decent amount. I mean, that's a, a decent amount of aluminum, resale, I got to take the brass parts off of here. Those are both aluminum breakage. I still think I'm gonna take the, the lid off because that's aluminum as well. Yeah. It's all, that's not aluminum, but yeah. The two truck method, I like it. I know a lot of people say, hey, just take the blue truck out. That's half the cubic footage of this, just in case I trip across, you know, the most scrap ever. You never know. All right, sun's peeking up. Let's go scrapping. Look at the size difference. There is a significant difference. But I tell you what, she is tough as nails. Hey, there's some more free stuff from a yard sale. Let's see, books and books and books. Lots of cooking books. All right, well, what I stopped for was a chair. Sitting on my angry chair. Getting to my truck. I'm blocking driveways all day long. That's nice. I don't want the paper. No, no. Someone say, that paper's worth $10 on eBay, Paul. eBay. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. It's the most exercise I've had in a month. Okay, where was I? They did not clear out any of their files. I think there's money in here? If there is, getting recycled with the rest of the paper. <laughs> I liked a tweet by Elon Musk. He was referring to Bitcoin. He said that uh, the real economy is products and services. And everything else is accounting thereof. Something like that. Yeah, I liked what he had to say. I have to admit, I got to, I was getting convinced about Bitcoin for a second from our feathered scrapping channel, but uh, I, I came close to buying some. I did not do it though. So uh, yeah, because one, it's not a product or a service. It's just a, uh, it's just a store of a store of wealth. A store of uh yeah. But yeah, Bitcoin has dropped what uh 50% in value. So it's not of value. 
That's metal. That's metal enough. Ooh, that'll go right into someone's tire, huh? But I have to admit, I like that. Ooh, is that metal? It is. I like that uh, thought, though. Money is just accounting. It's just uh, an accounting for past products or services. That's it. So when I hear people, other channels, talk about wealth and they get all giddy about it, that it's, um, it's all about products and service and accounting thereof. <laughs> is that aluminum? What? It is aluminum. Yeah, that's just a big old neodymium magnet. Yeah quite strong. It just pulls it. Ooh. See if I can, how close I can get to it. Ooh. What? Let's go take a look. has quite the odor. I don't know if it's my glasses that are dirty or what, but when the sun is in my face, it's just a blinding. Okay, I'm, eh, it's all plastic. Is this my new shop couch? Hmm. Wind's picking up. Ooh. What else we got going on over here? What are you? Seriously, what are you? Is it a really a record player? <clears throat> yep. This is a record player. That looks like a modern plug, so I think it just has that old look to it. Spirit of St. Louis. I don't know. Anything else here? Okay. Spirit of St. Louis. Get in my truck. Just because you're adorbs. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. There was a, um, a coffee table that I was eyeballing over here. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to take it. But then I drove down and I'm like, I am gonna take it. So let's at least take a look at it. This is a cute little section. Yeah, this coffee table. Uh oh, G Man's backing up. <laughs> In this one. It's this one that's I'm eyeballing. 
That's a nice coffee table. Oh man, I'm gonna get stuck down here. The heat is on. Slow down there, G-Man. Be out of your way in two seconds. Okay. Maybe two minutes. You know what, I'm gonna push that mattress out of the way. I do like this coffee table, but that other coffee table is nice. I probably wrecked it a little bit by putting it face down on the, yeah. <laughs> What's up, G-Man? You crazy busy today? I know, man. The only time I've ever seen another vehicle on this dead end, and now there's like three of them. Yeah. <laughs> and I was blocking you. I was like, oh, oh. no, you're all right. Yeah. I'm all like, right. I'm I... a professional driver. I had no problem getting around you. <laughs> but you got to watch all these wires and trees, especially yeah. because we had that really nasty storm on yeah. Friday. Holy yeah. crap. Were you out in that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, man. no, no. I had just finished my video and scrapping, and I was editing, and all of a sudden that torrential two inches at least two inches of rain just came down in what an hour yeah in like 15 minutes yeah and, and then just the, when i was at the fuel pump yeah i was just out there fueling up and getting it ready to check my tires and our computer you know it's touch screen yeah yeah so when i was going to do my checklist every time the raindrops would fall on it it would like push buttons so you had to, you had to wipe it all off every time and keep redoing so it. a water droplet thinks or the computer thinks the water droplet is your finger. Yeah. That's funny. Because when we're, when we're, when we're uh, checking like our tires and stuff, right. we have to enter each one separately. So okay. we check it and then we enter it. So I try to hold it like down at an angle ah. so the rain doesn't hit it. Yeah. But then eventually when you go to, to bend down and check the next one, you, you know, you kind of... You're done. So like, oh man, right. we got to start all over again. <laughs> Have a great right, day, man. Be safe. She got that other uh, table awesome we got the jeep picker is that a jeep yeah it's a wrangler she did good stuff <laughs> don't want to drop my camera in that kerplunk yeah i just had to pull over and tie this up i just gotta fly out of the truck Another one. Man, so that's where all the scraps going. I think we got some midnight scrappers. All right, this is my super secret stash hole. Nobody say nothing. It's a secret. Yeah. This needs to get tightened up, that's all. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. That might be broken a little bit. That drawer. Made in China? Yeah. That's my kind of coffee table. I've been looking for one too. All right. I'm going to leave this here for now. Scrap truck. Nice sides on that truck. Senor Scrapper. Extrusion. Yeah, definitely turning into an aluminum day. Wow, 
like it. Any other? Ooh. Your metal. Any plumbing type stuff? Oh, more extrusion. And more extrusion. Oh, okay, you can't quite pull that out. Another goodie? Yes. That's probably steel. Yep. That's not. Ooh, what is this? It's a bunch of get in my truck. Right next to the popo. All that racket over there. It's a wood vase. Something else caught my eye just as I was walking away. Shiny. Is that a candle snuffer? Still with this price taggy thing on it. It's quite ornate. I like it. <laughs> of course, I need a snuffer. Oops. Another chair. This chair actually might be not be bad. I like chairs. <laughs> now here, waste management does not do scrap metal. Nope. drive by scrapping. Kind of looks a little weird, but <laughs> this is the unfinished dumpster area for Harbor Freight. Oh, they didn't lock the dumpster. What's in there? Boxes. What is that? <laughs> Those are the panels that are supposed to go up here. That's what that is. Anything good? Nope. Looks like just boxes. Some people ask, why do you park so far away from the dumpsters? So it doesn't look like I'm dumping. That's why. Oh. I should a little bit of metal. Is that a pallet in there? <laughs> Don't be dumpstering your pallets. Because it's too hard for me to get them out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that pallet out. Some folks from about a year and a half ago, two years ago, videos of this area because this was all under construction. We got so much scrap from these guys. These guys are great. They use their cranes and stuff and put it in my little blue truck. It was awesome. But yeah, it's now they're um, very expensive um, suites. That's what I saw. The microwave. Let's take a little tour. Let's see what else they have to offer. A bug just hit me in the ear. <laughs> so summertime is uh, next week. Yep, the solstice. Um, that's
that's a big no right there. Boom. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. I'm not gonna actually grab it. There's some oozy stuff in there. Not a big fan of oozy stuff. You gotta close. Stay closed. It's been a while, but let's go take a look at the Union Pacific dumpster and, and whatever that was. That pipe is still there from a month ago. National Geographics? No, Cowboys and Indians. Well, Is that really a magazine? A whole bunch of frames, an empty dumpster, and a, like a vacuum thing, a bunch of e-waste. Hmm. Yeah, that's a vacuum. <laughs> uh, I see a cord. Yeah. Let's go ahead and snip this cord. See what's in that Union Pacific dumpster. It's been a while since I've gotten uh, a big copper find in there. Not very many cords recently either. Whoa. Is that a bunch of clothes too? Or is it trash? paper all right is there some of that scrapper gold in there Union uh, Pacific dumpster ta-da nope nada all right found a baseball bat a record player and a couple of chairs yeah. All right, so I'm gonna load this up. Probably gonna hang up, hang on to the aluminum for a little bit, and this stuff, and just turn in some shred for five bucks. Oh wait a minute, twenty-five bucks. You mentioned I don't like taking stuff apart. <laughs> start bashing on it Paul nope I ain't doing that they both stripped out <laughs> uh. nope. I'm not chasing one dollar Two dollars for frustration. Um, yeah, let's get the rest of the stuff in the blue truck and we'll take the blue truck to the scrapyard. Yeah, sometimes it's just there's not that much stuff. So this is going to be the shred. Got a little bit of aluminum breakage that I'll turn in when I get more. That needs to get dealt with. Resale and aluminum for later. Yeah, that aluminum is probably 40 cents a pound. So it is it is a sheet that's painted. So painted sheet aluminum. Yeah. All right, let's go hit the scrapyard and turn in this stuff. Such a space. Come on. I forgot my gloves. 
yeah that's aluminum that's aluminum those pieces are aluminum probably gonna hang on to that chair yeah all right now we can go to the scrapyard oh look another train yeah 45 times a day on average trains go through the town yeah this is the main route in and out of chicago that's all chicago stuff either being manufactured in that area going this way or when it's going that way it's it's products for sale engine in the middle of the train it's a push pull so you'll have one on the back you'll have a couple engines on the front and you might have an engine in the middle of 60 70 cars um, that's also assisting yeah. you can see the scrap on the other side I can't even tell the camera's facing that facing very good So there's no engine on the back of that one. Wait till it's all the way up and stop dinging. There we go. Yeah, but that's where I usually dump right there. I probably will. We'll see. This guy's right on my tail. Come on, man. Uh, 4,100, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna guess 4,100 pounds. Not even close. 4,000, 4,020. They're selling scrap. All right, I'm zipping all the way around. Ooh, that car got a little mangled. You don't see too many of those Chrysler 300s and Intrepids and Dodge Neons anymore. They all pretty much, yeah, went away. Let me see basically where this washing machine is. Sure, no forklift's gonna zip around the corner and get me. I hear a forklift. Did I just run over scrap? I can't tell. Yeah, look at it. Remember how the it was just like a lane right here? All of that's been taken out. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah, they're selling that to the mills and foundries. You, mister. <laughs> nope. Oh, there's a cotter pin right there. Closer. All right, I'm gonna keep this. I know the bottom half's aluminum too. Let's 
see it. I kind of feel okay with bashing stuff here. Not at my house or anything. Ubiquitous wire shelving. That's that plastic piece. Yeah, this is all steel magnetic. How about this? If I bash it with this, I think I'll knock it. at your house, Paul. No. Really? Well, this stuff should be shoved in a washing machine, huh? Yeah, let's do that. This one doesn't cause these scrapyard problems, or it lessens the chances. Yeah. And a couple more pieces here. There's the nail. It's actually aluminum. It's a for business cards. So I'm gonna hang on to that. Or I'm gonna scrap that as aluminum. Is that even metal? Yeah. All right, we're good. So 3,840. Yeah, 3,840 is my guess. Thousand eight hundred twenty, forty. Kind of going back and forth. You were here first. Go ahead. No, go ahead. All right. Ahead. Thanks, man. I got all day. <laughs> Which him? Me? All right. Are you glad you went first? Yeah. <laughs> You'd have gotten my five bucks. <laughs> I should be getting like 25, hopefully. I got yeah. 30 pounds of aluminum and 10 pounds of copper. Ooh, 10 pounds of copper. Dude, that's 20 bucks right there. Maybe. I don't know what the, what the uh, rates are right now. They change daily. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Thanks, man. That's a good number. I like it. I'll see you later. All right. Have a good one, bud. Yeah, see you. 27 bucks. I do like it. $27. Thank you, God. Thank you for being the creator of all this the blue sky and the sun. Thank you for being love, God. <sighs> yeah. I'm just going to park right there, God. You're the creator and you are love. Mm. Let us just realize who you are and what you've done. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>